Five four one one a uh, full report to. Zero one one standby. Uh, two three eight dispatch you tonight. One one the second alarm box one two nine zero. The address of one four two eighteenth Street. We use uh, all hands for uh, fire in the basement and the first floor of one story brick twenty five by sixty commercial. The line stretch to an operation. All the supply is knocked down. Primaries. Uh, basement and first floor complete negative. We uh, we'll go probably we'll hold at this time. Come on down, change your bottle. Okay, guys. This is a second alarm fire. Fire was in the basement and the first floor. Uh, auto body Auto-fire shop. Man. Auto body shop. All visible fires knocked down. They released units. It's probably over. Take off. So we're gonna check it out. Five seconds, come in. Come in, come in, come in. All right, so we came to check it out. Uh, it looks like everything is pretty much over. They got the line stretch all the way from engine over here, 220. Uh, no smoke left. It'll be a very short clip. Don't have any of the details. Uh, we didn't hear the call come in. They were fighting it for about 20 minutes. And then they transmitted the second alarm, which they pretty much, uh, <clears throat> I don't think, got to use. But we came to see. Yeah, check it out. How you doing? Yeah, All right, brother. <clears throat> one, two, two, roof for one, two, two. Let me see what it looks like over there. <clears throat> it looks like they have some good smoke coming out of there from the looks of it. Uh, we were all the way on 100 and... 122 roof to 122. 122. Do you need anything else opened up up here? We were all the way on 125th Street in Harlem, so, and this is on the other side of the Brooklyn Bridge in the Red Hook area. A 20 minute ride. It looks like they got the two lines stretched, two lines in operation. side to see if there's anything visible. Oh, uh, they're just going to go under control. <clears throat> With the under control, a lot of the units are going to be taking up. So, uh, So are we. It's very cold. I'll just see if I can get a couple of images for you guys to see what we're on here. It does appear to be some sort of opening, uh, probably towards the back of where the van is into the basement, and possibly where it dropped down. It's about where the box would do. Happy hookers. 
It's all out of 135. 105 towel ladders back there as well. There's a lot of singeing marks, so there must have been some good smoke pushing out of there. They still have the two lines inside the building. It looks like Still operating as well. So supposedly uh, they have fire in the basement. They have fire in the basement. Uh, I'm not sure if the fire dropped down from the first floor down or from the basement up. They're pulling the line out now from the basement. A lot of obstacles in the way there. Pallets and garbage and whatnot. But they're yanking that line out. It looks like they're done operating it. And then uh, they have uh, this one here still operating. It looks like there's a big Ford, that Ford van in there. I smell the cigar, I smell the cigar. <laughs> I thought they were yanking that second line out, but they are not. They're operating it. And then they're still operating the other one over here. So one in there, one in there, both in operations. So as I was saying, I don't know if the fire started in the basement and traveled up or started in the first floor and traveled down, but look at all the singe marks back there. So it was going pretty good at some point. Shut us down. Good 
<laughs> All right, everybody's taking up. They're gonna break down that line. They just shut it down. The basement line. So, just observing and uh, okay, there's a fire coming in in the nightclub, so we're gonna take up from the second alarm. The fire in a nightclub coming in, so we're gonna get out of here. Uh, two and two, we're gonna see you all on the other side.